Yeah, I, I did that. I did that. There you go. You got it. The shooting and everything? Yeah, yeah. Turn around. Hey, this is him. What happened? Uh, it's a long story. All right, you heard that conversation. That was the moment Tulsa police arrested Carlton Guilford. We told you back in April, it was a huge story. They say he shot and killed two people in cold blood. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Sarah Whaley. And I'm Shay Rossi. The police department released body cam video of that arrest for the shootings they believe were racially motivated and completely random. Fox 23's John Acebus went through that body cam video. He joins us now live and John at one point, he was hiding in plain sight. He was, and this is a terrible thing that happened. Lives were forever changed that day. What we're gonna see in that body cam footage is two officers responding to the scene. One of those officers gets to the quick trip and is helping a group of people who just left. Many of them scared and worried about what just happened. But in that crowd, you can see Guilford. Now due to what happened and the severe nature of what happened, this story and video could be disturbing to some. Two units are responding to a shooting call. We have one gunshot victim uh, inside the library. He's got him setting fire. Have him come in immediately. These officers are heading to the quick trip where another person was reported shot. What's up? What happened? Through this officer's body cam, you can see him directing a scared group of people. Hey, y'all, come over here. Come over here. Hey, I still have an employee inside. Take a close look. There Guilford is, among the others, blending in. But when the description goes out, the officer spots him. Can you come here? Yeah, I, I did that. I did that. There you go. You got it. The shooting and everything? Yeah, yeah. Turn around. Guilford is placed in handcuffs. What happened? Uh, it's a long story. That's all I got. I don't think I got nothing. Are you shot? Uh, yeah. You are shot? I got hit too, yeah. One officer hands Guilford off to be processed and treated. G-I-L-F-O-R-D. The officer is still in disbelief. Yeah, he's standing with the employees behind us the entire time. That officer goes back to speak with the employees and customers who are still grappling with the gruesome reality. He did it in front of my face, man. I saw a guy in red, I saw an older guy. One went down, one went out. Police identified James McDaniel as the victim at the Quick Trip and London Hathcock as the person who was killed at the Rudisil Library. The officer goes back to the people who fled the Quick Trip who can't believe Guilford was with them outside. Y'all good? You good? Y'all showed up quick. Huh? Tell us what talking you guys. On the phone. Body cam from the other officer shows where one of the victims lay just outside the quick trip. Fox 23 spoke with Police Chief Wendell Franklin after the shooting. They they were doing going about their daily business in, in, in public places and all of a sudden, you know, we have a shooter. A tragic day in April that left the families of these victims forever without their loved ones. And again, police believe that these shootings may have been racially motivated. As for Guilford, he did have a gunshot wound on his head, but police said that that was actually a self-inflicted gunshot wound. He was taken to the hospital, then to jail, where he remains this evening. And John, you mentioned the accusations this was racially motivated. So as far as court goes, what is the latest on Guilford's case? Well, as we know, he's booked into Tulsa County Jail on two counts of first degree murder and shooting with intent to kill charges. But I went through the records again today. He's expected to be back in court on Monday. Once we hear about what happened through those court proceedings, we'll bring you that information here on Fox 23 News. Covering news that matters, John Acebus, Fox 23 News.